guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just going to share with you a quick little video on how to set your custom white balance. So my room is beige. It has beige walls and my curtains are beige and it's just neutral. So if I set my auto white balance, it kind of has a yellowish tint to it and I want my room what I see with my eyes to come across what the camera sees so I'll set it to Tuscan and even with Tuscan custom white balance it still is a little bit yellow so I'll custom set it and that way I'll just go into my camera settings under menu custom white balance then I'll take a picture of something white and it tells the camera that this is indeed white. Then I'll press OK and my white balance is customly set. So I'll show you what auto white balance looks like, what the camera thinks the white balance of this room should be. So this is auto white balance and as you can see it's pretty orange. My curtains are orange, my walls are yellow, I'm probably orange and yellow. Now I'll show you what Tuscan Light looks like. So this is Tuscan Light, and it's doable, but it's still quite not right. My curtains are still a little yellowish brown, and my walls are still a little yellow, and I'm probably still a little orange. Now I'll show you again my custom settings that I set for this room. This is much better. This is basically what I'm seeing. The curtains are the same color as what I'm seeing. They're not yellow or orange and I'm not orange and my walls are beige and beigeish white, not yellow and orange. So anyway, that's how you achieve custom white balance in the camera. Now let's go to the computer and I'll show you how to achieve editing white balance in Final Cut Pro. So now we're in the editing portion of this video, how to correct your white balance. And I'm in Final Cut Pro and I will leave a link in the description on this plugin that I found. It is called the RT Color Balance. It'll be in your effects folder so what you want to do is open that folder and go under custom and then you'll get your RT color balance and you'll drag it to the clip that you want to color correct. And then this menu on the right hand side will come up, RT color balance. It will show shadows, midtones, and highlights. What you'll want to do is work with the highlights. And you have this choice of a color board to use or you have this choice of a color board to use. And I'll be using this one first. So I'll be bumping the reds all the way up to about 99 or 100. And then pumping up the greens and the blues as well. And then it will say clip color values. And on the list, it will say at white. You click that. And then it will say mix. And you can go ahead and drag that all the way down or all the way up. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. Then you click out of that menu. Then You'll go ahead and go into this color menu and you'll want to bring the blues in a little bit. And that looks about right. It's not as yellow. So that is basically how you color correct. The, I wish I had known when I had filmed this video this is one of my earlier videos and um, the, qu the quantity is good, but the quality 
needed some editing help. So this is the after and this is the before. What a difference. And so that is how you can color correct your videos in Final Cut Pro. Hope you enjoy. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and it was just a quick little tip on how to adjust your white balance. In my home, again as I said, I have a lot of beige and um, brown and neutral colors and my lighting is like a yellowish lighting and I would like to achieve more of a white cooler tone. So anyway, go ahead and try these in your camera and as you edit your videos and subscribe to my channel and leave a comment and I'll see you in my next video.